Welcome to Kirby Stephen. Today I'm just on the outskirts of the popular market town to show you a property which is a beautiful period home. Now we've got four stroke five bedrooms and some wonderful spaces internally with lots of flexible use living spaces. We've got some beautifully finished rooms, we've got a recently added kitchen, we've got lots of exposed stone, lots of beam work. So this is a fantastic mix of modern yet traditional in a location which is easily accessible close to the Yorkshire National Park, the Lake District National Park and um, it has great access links across to the A66. Now this home enjoys beautiful gardens as you can see here. We've got a sizable parking area to the bottom and as I pan around this is all garden that you can see behind me here but we've got wonderful views across to the nine standards just in the distance there so for most of the rooms you've got wonderful countryside views. As I pan around the home is just going to come into view so this is Winton Field a detached property which has um, got lots and lots of character it's got some beautiful features. It also has the benefit of a large courtyard to the rear where we've got lots of parking for a number of vehicles we've got areas which could be developed further and we've also got about half an acre of land to the rear which we'll explore towards the end of the video so if you're looking for an idyllic country life if you're wanting beautiful surroundings a lovely period home which has been maintained and renovated to higher standard then this may be an opportunity that's not to be missed now Kirby Stephen has everything you should want to um, to have it's got doctors it's got schools it's got a um, fantastic fantastic links and a great market town packed full of independent shops. It's a great location so please keep watching the video. I'm going to show you the street scene first of all and then we'll take you around this wonderful home. Okay so this is Winton Fields. I've just come to the start of the driveway so we've got a nice gated driveway leading in here and the property you can just see the tip of it up to the top there but this road here takes us to Kirby Stephen we're less than a mile from Kirby Stephen and as you can see we've got wonderful countryside views all around us and um, as we go a little bit further up the lane there we come round to our parking area which we'll see towards the end of the video and that road takes us up to walk up so fantastic links into Kirby Stephen so I'm going to just explore the first part of the garden because um, this is a real benefit to this home. We've got lots of parking um, here and um, we've got beautiful gardens to the front. So just look at this lawn. We've got lots of little hidden walkways as you can see there and a great family garden. We've got some established trees and shrubs and um, some wonderful trees and lots of seating areas. Just at the bottom there we've got a lovely seating area. We've got a space for a potting shed because we're quite a distance from the um, from the sort of the rear of the property so you've got all the equipment you need down here but just look at this wonderful garden we've got borders on all sides and this is Winton Field a substantial detached home so as we go up towards the house it will come a little bit clearer. We've got steps leading up to, um, to, to the front door. But before I go up the steps, just want to come round here to show you we've got ample parking. Now, this area straight ahead of us is where the vendors have converted a garage into a flexible use room with a shower room. So if you're looking for a property that's maybe got annex potential or multi-generational living, or if you're looking for a live-work environment, this would be great because you've got plenty of parking to the front here and you've got independent access into that room you'll see that room inside and you'll see it's absolutely beautiful so let's keep going because there's a lot to show you so up these steps here we've got a nice little sunken terrace down here which is perfectly sheltered lovely place to to eat lovely established beds all the way around and this garden is a complete haven for wildlife we've got an abundance of different species of birds in the bird cage there so it's a great peaceful place um, to attract the wildlife and just look at this beautiful home so it's um, got some age to it. We've got an original plaque st uh, plague stone here just to the front. And we've got some fantastic features as we go around. Before we do so, just um, over to the left there, we do have access around to the back garden, which will come out of shortly. Um, but you've got um, a wonderful front door here, which is a, a great, great doorway leading into this fantastic home. Okay, so come inside. So as we come in, we come into an uh, entrance boot room here, which is perfect for taking off your boots and your coats, but there's lots of spaces throughout this home that you can do so as well. So right from the start, we've got a wonderful flagstone floor and then a window looking out to the front. But look at this front door, look at the age here. Look at the, um, the panel in there. It's a fantastic feature of this older property. 
Then as we come through, we've got wonderful exposed stone and we've got lots of stone and lots of beams throughout. But the first part of the house we have is these glazed doors which lead through into this wonderful lounge space. So this is a great, fantastic sociable space. You've got these beautifully um, polished stone floors here, um, which are original and you've got um, a beamed ceiling there as well. Lots of space in here for furniture, light streaming in the windows uh, with wooden window sills and fantastic features like this fireplace here. So we've got some original cupboards and shelving units in the corner there and a really fantastic fireplace. So this is the lounge, which is absolutely beautiful. Then we can either go one way into the inner hallway or we can go through this way into a dining room space. So this has got lots of flexible uses. There's loads of rooms in this house that you could use for different things. It could be another sitting room. But in here, you've got another feature fireplace and lots of room for a dining table. Again, windows which look out onto onto the garden and here we look out onto the birdhouse there which is attracts a, a number of species of birds there it's a really peaceful haven for the wildlife so this is the dining room lovely beamed ceiling fireplace and we've got this feature archway which leads us through into another area which i think could be utilized as more of a snug maybe um office space but this is a great size in a hallway with a staircase leading up to the first floor and more exposed stone throughout so then we come through into the kitchen. So this door takes us back into the lounge and then we're in the kitchen. We've got a doorway out to a boot room to the side and then we've got a recently fitted kitchen. Now this is beautiful. It's a shaker style kitchen with comp complementary work surface and these wonderful um, curved surfaces here, lots of exposed stone, lots of woodwork and this wonderful flagstone floor. But we're on a, on a level here where we come down into a kitchen and just take note of this. This is absolutely beautiful. It works really well with the style of the property. It's really high quality. You've got fantastic workspaces, lots of storage, lovely pendant lighting there and space for your appliances. We've got space for an American style fridge freezer there and a, a range master. We've even got a built-in area into this wall where you could put your microwave. So this is a fantastic kitchen space, really sociable and lots of lots of space. Now, before we go upstairs, um, in the first part of my video, I touched on the garage being um, converted. So through this doorway here, we come into a rear hallway where we've got a shower room. So in here, we've got facilities for ground floor living. And through this door, we've got um, what was the garage space and has now been converted into a craft room. But if you're looking for multi-generation living or if you're wanting a bedroom on the ground floor, this will be perfect. We've got light coming in through the, um, the roof lights here, lots of exposed stone walls and wonderful French doors taking us out onto the front patio area which we saw right at the start of the video. So this has got lots of options if you want to work from home and you want visitors to come in but not come into your house they could come in this way, come into this room and just it could just work for a number of different types of family. So this is the ground floor. You can see we've got lots of space. We'll touch on the boot room as we go out to the back in a second, but I'm going to now take you up onto the first floor so you can see how the space upstairs really doesn't disappoint either. So we'll go up this carpeted staircase. You can see that nice hallway again. And we come up onto a landing, which again is really big. Nice beam ceiling. Lots of space here, another room effectively on the landing here. And we've got doorways which lead into three of the four bedrooms. So we'll go to this end of the hallway first. So bedroom number one is a really good sized double room. Fantastic light coming in here, lots of features. We've got some original cupboards here. A lovely window which looks out onto the fells. Across the open countryside there and down across the garden. And then we've got an ensuite shower room in here as well. So this is a modern fitted shower room with a shower with a rainfall shower head, a loo and a nice circular hand basin there. So that's bedroom number one. Then we've got bedroom number two, which is a beautifully presented double bedroom. Nice exposed stone feature here with the fireplace and sort of the chimney breast, sorry. And then you've got the lovely view out across the gardens there again. fantastic bedroom number two then as we come through 
We've got bedroom number three, which is currently used as an office, and that's just to the left-hand side here. But again, a fantastic double bedroom if that's what you wanted. We've got a nice stone fireplace in here. Again, the windows to the front and lots of room for storage in here as well. Then we come through off the landing into this space here, which has been utilised quite cleverly. So we've got a bit of a dressing room space here or a storage space. We've got a cupboard to the right hand side. And then we've got the family bathroom in here where we've got a bath, a loo, a hand basin. And then beyond there, we've got a single bedroom. So again, you've got lots of flexible uses for this room here. This works for this particular family, but if you wanted to reconfigure the space, it'd be quite easy to do so. So you can see we've got beautiful features, lots of beams, lots of wood, lots of exposed stone, but it's complemented by the modern kitchen, the modern shower room. So we've got a really fantastic mix of modern yet traditional. So finally, what we're going to do is we're just going to go out of the boot room and just show you the outdoor space. So coming out of the kitchen here, we come into a space which has been utilised as a utility room. Um, they've got space for a washing machine, a tumble dryer, some work surface space and some boot um, storage space there as well. So that brings us nicely into the courtyard. So there's gates here out to the side which give access for a large vehicle to come into here. And we've got a beautiful walled courtyard, ample parking for a large number of vehicles. And we've got steps there which will go up in a second to show you the land um, to the rear of the property. But what a fantastic space this is. You've got a carport area, you've got lots of wood storage and you've got a fantastic space here all around. Now you've even got a concrete basin at this section here so maybe if you wanted to create a greenhouse or maybe um, create some further living accommodation you've got plenty of space here and then this gate here takes us up to the land which I go up to up to now. Okay, so I've just brought you to an elevated position um, looking down onto the courtyard. So you can see that we've got a sizeable property and you can see that we've got the views across the nine standards in the distance there. Um, I brought you here because I want to just come across um, this driveway here just to show you the land that's available too. So this is fantastic if you're looking for the idyllic country life. If you're wanting to um, grow some fruit, if you want to have a small holding or a, um, maybe a kitchen garden, then there's lots of opportunities here. So at the current owners have spent a lot of time working this land to create some fantastic wild space. Um, the strip that we have here has got a fence and post, um, wire and fence post boundary to the left hand side there and throughout this first section we've got lots of fruit trees um, so you could be um, quite self-sufficient here. Um, they've got a lovely path in so we can keep going up this this path here and I'm going to take you right up to the end so if you just bear with me we'll talk as we go but you've got to um, fantastic opportunity if you want to just enjoy the space around so as you would expect in this area you've got lots on the doorstep but this is the opportunity to own your own little piece of um of cumbria um as we come up here we've got um a narrow section where we go a little bit narrower and then we open up into this fantastic paddock space. So it's been completely rewilded and it attracts a lot of, lots of wildlife. You've maybe got some deer, some rabbits, some hares, lots and lots of bird life and lots of, um, lots of just wildlife in general. It really is a complete haven. It just shows you how peaceful and safe the wildlife feel. So I'm going to keep walking right to the end because as we go to, to the end of the, the field here, you can see it's been planted with lots of nice trees and shrubs. As we keep going, we come up to the top where the vendors have created a beautiful seating area. And that's a super space to enjoy the wonderful views. Okay, so we'll just keep going. Just up to the top here. We've got a lovely seating area. And in the far distance across the countryside, we've got the views in the distance in this direction and across in this direction as well. And as we pan around, we've got wonderful views there as well. So I'm surely agree that this is a fantastic opportunity. If you're looking for a home that has some wonderful outdoor spaces, beautiful gardens to the front and this wonderful wild area to the rear, then this may be an option. Um, it's close to the market town of Kirby Stephen and the property itself has got an abundance um, to offer. You've got lots of fantastic modern features, yet that works fantastically with the traditional features, the exposed stone and the beams. So please do give us a call on 01768 881111 and we'll be happy to give you more information.